This video is for my physics final. So yeah, if you're not my physics teacher, then you don't really have to watch this, but I'd appreciate it if you did. Okay. Actually, it turned out pretty good, so keep tuned in. Today, we're gonna make a double pendulum, meaning me, oh gosh, that sound. Hmm, that smell. Meaning it has a bearing here and a bearing here. Bear with me here. With two sticks here. Now this will exhibit chaotic motion, very chaotic motion. This one will spin, and this one will also spin, and then they'll spin together, and it will draw cool patterns. Build this, you're gonna use skateboard bearings and wood, and a stick. You're gonna wanna grab a saw and cut your wood into a, a long, thin strip. Also, make sure it's not thicker than the bearings. That's just about perfect right there. Mm -hmm. Also, guys, for safety, wear goggles. Almost there, oh. I'm cutting the stool. No. Oh, crap. That was an antique. I feel like Jimmy Darista. Sand the edges so it looks nice. Good one. Now measure carefully and cut it exactly in half. Uh, yep. There we go. Dang, that is just about perfect. Drill. Now find the uh, drill bit that's just about as big as the bearing. Boom. In the drill. Boom. Crosshairs. Oh gosh, this is gonna split. Really the most important part is that clean drill through. Okay, the holes were abandoned. We just went straight for the glue. And use Elmer's, it's better than Gorilla. Here's the progress. The bearings are doing well and they're actually holding in the wood pretty, pretty good. Now make a cut, the height of two bearings. Now take some of your masking tape till it fits on the bearing snugly. Now that the pendulum itself is completed, you're gonna need a stand. Okay, so the setup is complete. Let's give it the first run. Hopefully this doesn't go full Titanic. Pretty normal at uh, low velocities. You stop there for a second. So there's a lot of science involved with uh, these double pendulums that I've researched thoroughly. In physics and mathematics, in the areas of dyna dynamic systems, a double pendulum is a pendulum with another pendulum attached to its end. And it is simple physics system that exhibits rich dynamic behavior with strong sensitivity to initial conditions. Yes, apparently it did. The motion of a double pendulum is governed by a set of coupled ordinary differential equations and is chaotic. My source is Wikipedia. To find the motion of a double pendulum, uh, first you start out with some simple algebra, then go into the Langrayerian system, and then lost. In summary, this pendulum exhibits chaotic motion, which is actually very difficult to find in a simple machine, and exhibits momentum, kinetic energy changing to potential energy, and in turn potential energy changing into kinetic energy. And that's the double pendulum, folks. 